Watinga tina, watinga banga sogufa, safa sa penduga sa penduga nje bogu. Watinga tina, uwe modo, 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 modo. Welcome guys, my name is Tuso Mundwede, I'm here for Manziville TV. We at one of these houses that was banned yesterday on the 18th of January 2018. Apparently, a um, group of people from Kahiso, the community members, came here to ban a um, few houses more Sabarite Street because um, there was this lady from Kahiso who was kidnapped uh, while she was working from uh, Yusuf Datu Hospital. Uh, walking to the taxi rank in Kruger's dog. Her name is Tsepiso, she was kidnapped and she whatsapped uh, some of her friends, more WhatsApp from Lela there. There's a car following her, it will get these Nigerians um, citizens. Then after that, that was the last they heard from her. Uh, then, Alakshay Khabamata Yalwe then Basamotoli, then her friends and family uh, begged and asked the community to assist them uh, through social media. Then people then mobilized. Then they come here most ever right because apparently they were able to track her cell phone and it, the location showed her it's somewhere here, Mosabarat Street. Then they came here and ten few houses that they suspected that she was held on. Then, yeah, this is one of the houses that were penned yesterday. As you can see, it's really, really badly penned. And, and there's another one down there that we're going to, to, to be showing you guys shortly. And then, yeah, I'm Tuso Mundwedi for Manseville News and back to the studio. It's not so bad. It's not a problem here. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, that's bad. Mm. How bad was the smoke? Had, uh, you couldn't even see. Completely. Yeah. So what's the damage then? Uh, the ceiling was there. The ceiling, everything, and the roots is also burning. Mm -hmm. Inside, right here. You must pick up your house. Mm -hmm. It's wet. I didn't see Wait. that coming. Okay. Yeah, they broke all open. Yes, no light electricity okay. for the purpose. Mm -hmm. Yo. This is a real shit. I see all this. People give us the assets. I'm play I'm staying here say Mm. About 25 years. Mm -hmm. Okay, before they wasn't the Nigerians wasn't here. Mm. But in the in the, at the same time, doesn't matter what they doing or what they selling or what they doing. Mm. It's not nothing to do with me. Mm. Understand? Yeah. The thing is, our own people, mm. the black people. Mm. That's South where the problem. That's right. Mm. That's, I mean, they burned the place. I don't know who. Mm. It was people uh, taking folk. Things are happening in all these houses that they, they targeted to them. So when I, as, a, as a neighbor and a resident of, of this street, um, especially in this house that was burned uh, next to your house, have you ever ex suspected anything that you maybe thought, um, drug dealing. yeah, drug yeah. dealing or that's what we suspect. Mm. Yeah, and, and there's like, a lot of people going in, out, mm. even the police. Mm. Even yeah. the police, they stop you, mm -hmm. they're talking, they're doing nothing, Connecting. they put the black people inside the van just around the corner, out of that. What are they doing? I don't know, mm. understand. So, there must be something. And when there was something happening and we found the police one or triple one, mm. they always laugh and say, oh, civil rights street. Mm. So it means they are supporting this whole thing. Exactly. Perhaps others are part of it. Mm. Huh? Perhaps I'm saying some officers are part of the operation. Yeah. You could I say that. Know. You we could say that. Yeah. We're just assuming. Yeah. yeah. Because we right. I think everyone can see what is happening around here, but no one is doing anything. But so, now, like I hear, uh, some of the people told me the next target is mm. West Kruguzlo. 
Yeah, they said Vegas, Vegas Whip. Yeah, Burgers Whip and West Kruger's do. Mm. But, I mean, uh, mm. who's going to stop it? Mm. But currently what is happening, the community members are in the police station. I think they decided to protest that site because they have this information that the police are, are supporting this whole illegal thing. So they are there protesting, asking the police to take more firmer actions against what is happening around Kuala Yeah, well then, they found earlier uh, because they demolished this house now. Uh, they take out everything. Who are the taking out? people, what okay. we saw, took out the things. Okay. And the police came and they talked to them and they left. Were they people who stayed here or just yeah, no, random just people? All, 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 all of them were collecting this stuff oh, and selling it. Oh, they were just collecting something. Yeah. Just now it's just mixed up. Yeah, it's mixed yeah. up and it's burned. <laughs> okay. No, thank you for, for, thank you for okay. sharing your story with Please, us. Uh, thanks yeah. for helping. And we will. If you can see inside, it's very, very badly burned, and the house has a basement there. You can see how the how no gain or what the motto if how much or money no gas motoli because there are other places that are hidden there. They can you can easily just touch anything or anyone there, and no one will suspect anything. Yeah. Then this is the house, and this is Lepa Street. My name is Tuso Munro Eighty Four Manseville TV. Back to the studio.
We were invited this morning to come to see me to, to attend the meeting with the Brigadier of the Brigadier, along with the Kashyyyk community, was was having a good time. But yes, that's what brings us to this. Um, we've been trying to be peaceful up to now. Uh, this was not our initiative. This was definitely because of uh, Kashyyyk's initiative. So much more we are in support of them. How are you feeling about the whole situation? Vandalism and painting and stuff. Well, if, if the guys on, if the police is not listening, what else can you do? You can't do anything. As a mother of a child that is in drug addiction, you know, to see your child dying, it's better to see a house burned down. And for a person not to have a place, then to go bury my child in the grave. Thank you. Yes. This is Daryl and you are watching Wonsible TV. I'm Tabula here um, from, I'm a reporter working for a certain uh, TV channel. I was just here in Kubozo by McDonald's, just trying to cover the story of what's going on here in Kubozo with the riots, with the burning of the buildings. And while I was just standing around observing, trying to take pictures, the, pol the police started opening fire and started shooting, and I got hit with a bullet by my stomach. So I don't understand what's going on, why they were shooting at people. They were standing around um, as they were approaching the crowd that was uh, obviously fighting with the Nigerians right here, said right. Uh, whereby they were stoning each other. The Nigerians were stoning um, the guys from Kakahiso uh, and, and Mansovo. And then when the police approached, they just opened fire. Even with to us, by standing, like I said, I was standing here, and they just opened fire and I got hit with another plate by my stomach. And this thing is. Oh! My name is Mabisa. Um, the situation right now, we're very angry, in fact. We're very disappointed. Because we feel like, as a community, we are being let down, especially by, by the SAPS. We are being victimized, we are being shot at, um, while we are trying to, to protect our own. We've got foreign nationals that are threatening to kill us, threatening to rape us, threatening to um, telling us we're going to die, and the police in the West Rand are doing nothing about it. We went to the police station this morning, we engaged with policemen, um, they are not interested in making our community safe uh, for us and other individuals. So our feeling right now is we have invested our time and our energy and the SAPS is not willing to meet us halfway. So we are not happy, we are not satisfied and we feel let down by our very own, our very own cops. 
I don't have a direct indication, but um, some of us have been here since the morning. We've been here since 9 o'clock in the morning. So um, I'm not sure what time this will end, but like I'm saying, we are not satisfied. So for now, we are still here. Cool. What in the banga so goofa? Safa sapenduga sap, do ginger bogu. What in the tea? What in the banga?